Ellen's favorite thing at Fannies of the Week. My name is Ellen. This week we are going to be taking a look at this Dan Electro convertible guitar. This guitar has a lipstick pickup and a some kind of piezo thing somewhere and it is mostly empty. It's got a reasonable enough unplugged sound. It's certainly loud. Nice texture. Impressive. Now we have knobs. They all do something, I'm sure. There's no way to know. Okay, well this one's got a little clicker in the middle, so I'm gonna guess this is the blend. This is the lipstick pickup. It definitely, it sounds like a lipstick pickup, but it has a lot more body and like airiness to the tone because of the way that the body is. It's plucky. I mean, it sounds like an electric guitar, but it definitely sounds like its own thing. You know, it's not a Strat, it's not a Tele. Well, it just really doesn't break up that much. I... Yeah, it, they don't really push an amp super hard. I personally think they sound better at a medium volume than they do at a loud, loud volume. And that's just because there's not enough electrons. There's not a lot, enough electrons going through this thing, into this thing. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the... Hello. 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 But a little creative EQing makes it okay. It sounds like it sounds exactly like this piano that I used to have's banjo sound. You know that kind of banjo sound. Bad bitty banjo. That's the first inspiring sound that we gotten. And that's with the blend, the blend knob exactly in the middle. So I'm getting part lipstick, part piezo. All cool. If whatever guitar you're playing now doesn't have enough mid range, you could definitely consider this guitar. It's a very different sort of thing. Strumming and jangly and being cordy than than to me trying to, you know, it's just not as good for that. sounding that isn't like super fragile and old and dangerous. Yeah, I dig it. It's pretty cool. I give it three out of five Ellen's. Ellen, Ellen, Ellen. Here at Fanny's House Music, we also sell vintage clothing. I think it's high time I try this two-piece Western girl skirt and vest. Well, folks, you can't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, you just might find to get what you need. You know what I mean? I like this a lot more than I thought I was going to. I can't tell if this... Well, I can tell you that the skirt does not fit me. Definitely not. The skirt doesn't doesn't buckle back here. The skirt doesn't buckle. But, you know, there are worse problems. This is not meant for boobs. Or at least it's not meant for my boobs. It's meant for much smaller boobs. Boobs. I might just have to keep an eye on this outfit, and if I decide to change my identity and move to Branson and have that be a thing, I can take this with me and start my new life. Thank you for watching Ellen's favorite thing at Fannies of the Week. Tune in next week for me to have another favorite thing. <laughs>